another video. I hope you're all doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing a file off and redesign video. So I'm just filing off a French set that I did, like a French ombre. Um, and then I'm going to be filing off to do a new design. I'm thinking of a matte shiny cow print sort of look with a new colour from the gel bottle. So I hope you like the video and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my e-file with the barrel bit and I will just file off this design. So when I'm filing off, I tend to start at one side, make my way over to the right, just making sure I'm not staying in one place for too long because I don't want to cause any friction or heat on the nail. And then obviously, because I'm doing it on myself because of the angle, I just twist that round, tucking into the corners. And there we go, the gel is off. So I'm just gonna go and do the rest now. So there is my gel off. So I'm just gonna go in now with my 150 file and just neaten up the shape again. Now I have got a peel off base coat on these. So that's why um, they look a bit funny and you can see like a little patches where they've lifted. But um, if I didn't have the peel off base coat on, um, I would obviously do some of the cuticle work and get rid of any parts that may have lifted. So just ignore that for now because I won't be doing any of the prep um, just for that reason. Um, I'm just going to go in now and give them another layer and neaten up with the acrylic powder from Glitter Bells. This is just a clear one. It's uh, glass slippers. So again, I'm just going to go in and pop an extra bead or two around the cuticle area just to neaten it up for the gel application. And now that I've just added a little bit more acrylic, I'm just going to go in and file them again with my 150 file.
just going to go in again with my e-file to clean up the application around the cuticles. So basically when I do that step, I'll just show you what I mean. So you see the build of the nail there. You basically want this to be as flush as possible to the cuticle. So as much as you blend that in, the most natural sort of structure you're gonna get. So you don't want it to be any sort of ledge there or anything like that. So that's basically what I do when I go in with my e-file. So I'm just going to give them a buff now. And there we go so there's my application done for my next gel design so now we will get into the gel design so for this design i'm using the gel bottle in the shade tiffany so i'm just going to basically apply a couple of coats of this then i'm going to go in with my matte top coat and then i will be creating the cow print design with basically the shiny version of the patches, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and do the first couple of coats now. So now I'm just going to go over them with a matte top coat. So 
So there they are set with the matte top coat. So I'm just going to grab my resin palette now and decant some of the gel colour onto the resin palette. And I'm going to grab a dotting tool and this is what I'm going to use to create the cow print. So there you go guys, I hope you love the video. Again, if you have any questions or anything as normal, just drop them in the comments below and I'll come back to you with anything that you might have any queries on. But for now, remember to like and subscribe and follow me on my other socials. It's at the nail room by G on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.